The first step is to join the flat column with the curved arc frame. Connect all four sides of the frame so that your finished frame looks like this. Remove any wrapping from the frame and place on the bathtub. Fit the right and left walls, ensuring that the lip fits to the frame. Screw together using the available holes. Drill remaining holes and screws together. Fit the centre column, fitting the screws down the back centre and drill remaining holes and screw together. Fit the roof to the top of the shower as shown. Fit the roof screws into the top of the frame, remembering to tighten the nuts on the screws. Included in the installation kit is the protection plastic strip which is used to protect the glass on the outside of the frame. Fit the fixed glass panels into the shower frame. Unpack the supporting light columns from the boxes and thread the lighting wire through both ends. Thread the lighting wires through the holes in the shower roof before fitting the support column into the shower frame. The ends of the lighting columns conceal the wires. Slide the column into place on the frame next to the glass. Drill out the holes at the back of both of the top and bottom of the light columns and install the screws for support. Repeat these steps on the other side. Unpack the glass doors, putting the bottom onto a soft surface to protect it. Unscrew the door rollers and attach either side of the door glass very loosely. Hang the top of the door onto the shower frame track from the inside. Then push the bottom into place. Once completed, tighten the rollers and complete on the other side with the other door.
to fit the door handles, unscrew the sides and pull apart. Unscrew the fittings and fit to the shower door. Redo the fittings and attach the other side of the handle before tightening the side screws again. If there are any gaps in the door when closing, open the door and slam them together, which will align the doors. The massage mounts unscrew and one side goes inside the shower while the other attaches at the back. There are screws behind the mirror so you can remove it. To mount the shower head, the clip slots into the mount, fitted to the wall, and the shower head sits in the clip. The wiring for the shower is very simple. The transformer controls the power flow for the shower. The transformer connects to the shower control so that the wires go red to red. Then place the transformer on the top of the shower. Find the wire labelled fan and put this over the top of the shower as well as it connects to another wire labelled fan on the other side. All of the wires included in the shower unit are labelled and have a logo to tell you what it is. Each of these wires connects to another wire with the same logo. To install the telephone, connect the output jack to your wall socket. The radio antenna sits on top of the shower so that it can get reception. To install the water hoses, it is a good idea to wrap the threads in tape so that there is no leakage. Then screw on the hose nozzle to the thread before putting tape around the nozzle's other end. Slip one of the tightening clips over the hose before attaching it to the nozzle, pushing it tight. To finish, tighten the clip with a pair of pliers, which will prevent any water leakage. Ensure that all hose clips are fully tightened before turning on the water supply. Thank you for using KiwiBath.